we Nigerians are pretty much loud and um, Lagos is a melting pot of all the Nigerian cultures. Every tribe, and I think we have over 200, over 300 tribes in Nigeria, every tribe is represented in Lagos and it's not just Nigerians, West Africans, Africans and international um, uh, visitors too. So Lagos is a melting pot of cultures, of people, and you can, it, that also translates to the soundscape, you know. So, combined with all that and, and the fact that we like being heard, we like expressing ourselves vocally, it makes the city quite unique in, in that way. Over time, I, I, it's also applicable with different cities in the world, but um, um, specifically, I, I know more about Lagos, and uh, over time, the sounds of the, the city is changing. Some of the sounds, do not, you don't hear them where you used to hear them anymore because what is going on in Lagos right now is there's a lot of infrastructural development. They are trying to rebuild the city, they are trying to make it as modern, more modern as possible. So with this, there's a lot of bans, especially for the hawkers, you know, hawking on the streets. And these hawkers are really an essential part of the soundscape because they go out carrying their wares on their heads, heads and trying to sell their products. So most times you're in your house, you can hear them calling for the product they are carrying on their head. So in some ways, where they've rebuilt those areas, there are all the signs that ban hawking. So that means these hawkers will not be in these places and that means the sound changes a little bit. Then for the, for the bus conductors, I really find them fascinating because for me, the, the most, um, they are the, 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 the way you know that these sounds were recorded in Lagos. I mean the bus conductors because they call out the bus routes in Lagos, right? So if, if I do any recording on the streets of Lagos, it can sound like any African city. But with these bus conductors, with their voices on it, you know specifically that this is Lagos because they're only calling out bus routes that you can find in Lagos. Mm -hmm. And now in Lagos, they are bringing in uh, new buses that have um, digital displays of the direction where the bus is going. And um, what that means is there's really no need for the bus conductors to be calling out these routes anymore. Um, I'm, I'm very much interested in relocating sounds of Lagos to public spaces around the world and uh, in Berlin here next month I'll be part of the Micro Music Festival and uh, it's going to be in uh, uh, the St. Elizabeth Church. Um, when I was sent the pictures of the space because I, I had to, uh, I was sent the pictures of the space before I got to Berlin, um, the main focal point for me, the main focal point of interest for me was the church there. And, um, I did some recordings around some Lagos churches since I was trying to work with the benches and the public space around in the in the field around this church. I wanted people to sit down on these benches and um, hear um, the sound of a Lagos church going on there. So I did some recordings outside some churches in Lagos and I'll be um, installing them in uh, the space around St. Elizabeth Church. But this is also going to be an interactive sound installation, meaning that the sounds will only come up when people pass the motion sensors we are going to put around the space. So my concept here is for people to come to the space and sit down, probably with a view of St. Elizabeth Church, but now with sounds of a Lagos church going on there. It's part of my uh, sound installation in public places that I've been doing for a while now. And I'm, I try to call, I try to use the airport codes of the cities where I install the sound. So this will be LOL, LOS to TXL, which is Lagos to Berlin. That will be the title of this piece.